Welcome back, people of everywhere. Before I start anything, I just want to give a big congratulations to my friend Matt Inman, who has taken another step to becoming a legitimate YouTube movie reviewer. He had a video taken down due to a copyright strike. Give it up for him. Yeah. <laughs> Go Disney. Yes. Okay. All right. All right. Okay, that's enough. Okay. Now, some of you may have noticed that the title to this video is a little different than usual. And to explain why, I'm going to take you back to when I first started this channel, when it was called Brandon's R&R. The R&R stood for Rants and Reviews. I decided that that wasn't a, for lack of a better word, professional enough name, so I changed it to Woodward Reviews. The rant portion in that name, though, was going to be me just talking about a specific aspect of something, as opposed to a review of a whole movie or television show. And that's what we're going to do today in this new segment on my channel called Let's Talk. So, without further ado, let's talk about Gotham. For anybody who knows me personally, they know that I love me some Batman. He is my all-time favorite comic book hero. I just think he's the most interesting, and he is the hero that I personally just get the most out of. But there's one character that is my all-time favorite comic book character above all else. And that is... My man, the Joker. Now, why am I bringing up the Joker here? Well, that's because there is a pseudo-Joker in the show of Gotham. He goes by the name of Jerome Valeska. Cameron Monaghan plays the character, and he knocks it out of the park. A lot of people will know this actor from the show Shameless, which I also really like. They never outright call him the Joker, but come on. He was the Joker. Just listen to that laugh. What other character that has to do with the Batman mythos laughs like that? And he's just always so animated. Every time he's on screen, everyone loves him. He quickly became a fan favorite, even though he only showed up maybe two or three episodes out of a 23 episode season. Seriously, why do they make those seasons that long? What is this, a CW show? But even with that little bit of screen time, everyone loved him. Because everyone loves the Joker. He just brought this life and energy that really is lacking from a lot of the show. Now, don't get me wrong, I love the show. But let's be honest, a lot of these characters are like watching paint dry. They're pretty boring. Especially Bruce Wayne, which is so sad. <laughs> But anyway, back to Jerome, the show tried to play up for a long time that, ooh, is he or is he not going to turn out to be the Joker? What will he be? Will he just influence the Joker or will he actually become the Joker? Hmm. But really, everybody watching the show was like, yeah, that's, that's so obviously the Joker. You, you gave him a name that started with J. Who are you trying to kid? But then it all came crashing down whenever Jerome died. That's right. They killed him off. I guess he's just out of the show. Now, this was about when I started watching the show. Because I saw everybody blowing up the internet talking about how pissed they were that they killed this character off. So I knew it was going to happen, but it was because of this character that was so like the Joker that I became interested in watching the show. He was the whole reason I started watching it. And of course, it's a comic book based television show. He didn't stay dead. And they brought him back and, 
And they had his face cut off. They, they cut off his face. And then he staples it back on. Do you know what that's just like? It's just like the Joker. He is loving it. He's having a blast. His voice is all raspy and everything. <laughs> that really just kind of sounded like that one fish from Spongebob, though. Chocolate. I remember when they first invented chocolate. He kidnaps Bruce Wayne. He takes him to a giant carnival. All of his little minions are dressed like clowns and whatnot. And then he gets taken down and sent to Arkham. And really, the next time we see him is in the next season when the Penguin goes to Arkham and Jerome tries to get his attention. How does he do that? He throws a Joker playing card at him. They're not even trying to hide the fact that this is their pseudo-Joker. Even though he doesn't have the white face and green hair, he does have a permanent smile because of how he stapled his face back on, and he's constantly laughing, making jokes, talking about how people has to have more fun. And then he breaks out and goes on the hunt for someone. You don't know who it is until they explain who it is. And do you know who the hell it is? His twin brother. What? Yeah, apparently he has a twin brother named Jeremiah. And Jeremiah is sane. He's actually a genius. This character is also played by Cameron Monaghan. And so now he has dual roles. And he actually plays it very well. Jerome is eccentric and excitable and just manic. And Jeremiah is cool calm, collected, and kind of paranoid. Well, Jerome doesn't get to kill his brother. In fact, he dies again. But not before he and Scarecrow create a gas that once someone inhales it, their face turns white and they start laughing themselves to death. How much closer to the Joker can Jerome get? Well, we'll never know because like I said, they kill him off again. But of course he's gonna come back, right? Well, as a matter of fact, before he died, he sent a gift to his brother Jeremiah, and it was the gas. He got blasted, and then this happened. Have some fun! Burn down, lover! We burn all down! Oh, what? Yeah, okay, so... <laughs> You're going to build up Jerome for four seasons, and then you're gonna kill him off and be like, Oh, he has a brother. He's your Joker now. I know it's the same actor, but you can't just do that. It may be the same actor, but it's a completely different character. We, we know nothing about him. All we know about him is that he was raised in the carnival with Jerome. And he and Jerome hate each other. That's it. But it looks like he's going to be our Joker now because, you know, he's, he looks a lot like that. Except for the fact that he doesn't have green hair. I mean, it turned his face white and gave him red lips. Why not turn his hair green? And so, throughout the whole next episode, they're making you think that Jerome is back. And Jeremiah, he's going a little crazy because of the gas, but he looks just fine. He's... Really paranoid, though, because of this gas, and he's worried that Jerome has come from the grave to get him. But it turns out that Jeremiah was behind it all, and then we get our big reveal as to what his Joker is going to be like, and how is it? Let's see. Ah, here, for example. Jerome wanted to slather you in honey and have you eaten alive by corpse feeders. Oh, that's Matt. Me, if I want to kill you, I'll just do it. I'll shoot you in the head. Simply and sanely. What? So you're telling me that you took the coolest character in the show, the most interesting, killed him off twice, and then replace him with someone that is none of that. You took away a character that had every personality trait of the Joker. 
He just didn't look like him. But he acted exactly like him. You took him away. And you gave us someone who looks like the Joker, but in no way acts like him? That is... There's no other word for that except utter betrayal. Yeah, cool, he's wearing purple and he's got the hat and the white face and the red lips and for some reason yellow eyes, I don't, I don't get that. But where's, where's the attitude? Where's the laugh? Where's the excitement? Where's, where's the insanity? I mean, we get him shooting a bazooka. I guess that's kind of Joker-ish. You have them setting bombs all around Gotham that are going to explode and destroy the city. I guess that's Jokerish. But just because his plans are Jokerish doesn't make him the Joker. The Joker has an attitude. The Joker has a personality. The Joker just leaps off of the screen and demands your attention. Really? Really? Except that one. You know what screwed just the screen? The Joker jumps off comic book pages and demands your attention. Do you know how popular the Joker is? The Joker is popular enough that one biggest complaint that I heard about Suicide Squad is that the Joker wasn't in it enough. Even though that was said in the exact same breath that Jared Leto sucked as the Joker, it didn't matter. People still wanted more Joker because he is that great of a character. And so you take away a character that is just like it and give us one that just looks the part? I know Gotham has one more season. They have one final season and they can turn it all around. They can make Jeremiah the quintessential Joker, okay? Because Cameron Monaghan is incredible at that part as Jerome. So if they can take Jeremiah, who looks just like the Joker, and then in this last season make him act just like the Joker too, I'm sold. I will put Cameron Monaghan right up there with Mark Hamill because he is that good. This last season is going to be that Gotham is deserted and the only people left is Bruce Wayne who's dressing up as kinda not really but sorta Batman and all of the villains, all of them, deserted Gotham Kinda of, sorta, of, but not really, but kinda of Batman. And all of the villains. If they can make this last season work and give us a pseudo Joker that we deserve, you can have everything from me. But right now, they have taken away the Joker that we needed for the show. No, it doesn't make sense as far as Batman mythos goes that the Joker is doing his thing right now while Bruce Wayne is like 16. But it doesn't matter because let's be honest, this show hasn't paid any kind of attention to Batman mythos. So with this mythos that they have created, if they can just flip it around, if they can hear all of the fans that are as disappointed as I am, that are as upset as I am, and turn Jeremiah into the perfect combination of him and his brother, if they can do that, then it will be a perfect final season. I will be so, so happy. But until they do that, they have lost almost every ounce of respect that I had for them. I turned a blind eye when they changed backstories and motivations for all kinds of characters. They changed Poison Ivy's name. They changed her actual name. In the show, her name is Ivy. That is not the character's name. But they did it. I turned my head when they introduced that stupid plot line with the clone Bruce. I turned a blind eye when 
they were just like, oh, Rachel Ghoul's here too. Again. Oh, he's dead again. But I will not turn a blind eye to them ruining the Joker. Because you just can't. The fans, we all love that character. And I know some people think that the Joker's overused. And in some ways, I understand. But whenever we are given a good Joker, that just makes me the happiest fan in the world. And so to see this show just strip the Joker, sorry, Joker, of all of his personality and just exchange it for a white face and a purple suit, I, I can't respect that. And really guys, that's, that's really all I have to say about it. This, this isn't something I'm going to do too regularly, reg, reg, too often. Until then, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like and the subscribe so that I can see you guys next time.